The line L1 has this equation and the line L2 has this equation here. Find the acute angle between L1 and L2. Show that L1 and L2 are skew. One of the numbers in the equation of line L1 is changed so that the equation becomes R equals this. Given that L1 and L2 now intersect, find A. So let's have a little look at this question and I've summarized it here. Q tangle. Well, basically we need the dot product for the Q tangle between these two directional vectors. A dot B is equal to the modulus of A times the modulus of B. Cosine of the angle between them, isn't it? That's the dot product rule. So we're going to use that on these two directional vectors. So let's get the dot product then. So 2, 3, minus 4. That vector, dot product with the other vector, 0, 1, minus 2. Let's just check we've written that down correctly. There it is there. So that equals 2 times 0 is 0. Uh, 0. 3 times 1 is 3. Minus 4 times minus 2 is plus 8. So what have we got? 11. Now we need also need the modulus of these vectors. Um, let's call this one A as a vector and this one B. So the modulus of A then, square this, square this, square this, and square root the sum, isn't it? So it's 2 squared plus 3 squared plus minus 4 squared. Uh, 9 and 16 is 25, plus 4 is 29, so it's root 29. The modulus of the vector B then is equal to, and now we just square the other two terms, the other corresponding term, so it's 0 squared, 1 and minus 2, so it's plus 1 squared plus the minus 2 squared, which is 4 and 1 is 5, so that's root 5. So the angle then, theta, between them, so uh, cosine of the angle, theta from the dot product, remember it's a dot b, 11, and the product here of the moduli can come underneath, can't it, remember? The product of the moduli here can come underneath the a dot b, can't they? So it's root 29 times root 5. So we need to tap this into a calculator. We'll use degrees mode. So shift cos. We're in degrees mode. 11 divided by bracket the square root of 29 outside the square root times root 5 outside the square root, close that square root product bracket and close the cosine bracket equals 24.006 24.006 degrees which equals 24 degrees approximately. So there's theta is 24 degrees. So that's the angle between the two lines. Show that the lines L1 and L2 are askew. Okay, let's suppose they meet then. So 3 plus 2s, the x coordinate will equal the 5 plus, will equal 5 plus 0 t's. So part 2. Here, lines meet provided. So we need to just write down the. Um, two things, don't we? Here's the lines. Um, 3 plus 2s is equal to 5 plus 0t. So 3 plus 2s is equal to 5 plus no lots of t. And the next one is going to be 0 plus 3s is equal to 3 plus 1t. 0 plus 3s is equal to 3 plus 1 lot of t. So let's see if what values of s and t we need to get from these two first then. Okay, so uh, 3 plus 2s then is equal to 5 and 0 plus 3s 0 plus 3s is equal to 3 plus t, isn't it? This is 1 tidied up, this is 2 tidied up. So that's just a naught there. Uh, 
So we just write 3s, don't we? Okay, so let's sub in. Let's triple this one. Um, so what do we get then? So I'm going to triple this and write it down in one pal soup. Three of these. So it's 9 plus 6s is equal to three of these, 15. And now sub in this 3s into here. Oh, oh, we can just get s straight away, sorry. So by 1. Uh, 3s, uh, 3 plus 2s is 5, so 2s is equal to 5 minus 3, and that tells us 2s is 2, so s equals 1. And if s is 1, uh, and then by 2, t will be naught by 2. Um, 3s, 3 is equal to 3 plus t, and therefore t equals 0, doesn't it? So there's our values for s and t. Um, now the z component. So check the z component now. Let's just get that. It will be minus 2 plus, uh, minus 2 minus 4s is that one. Minus 2 minus 4s. Minus 2 minus 4s is needs to equal for the lines to intersect. Uh, 2 plus 2 minus 2t, two isn't it? 2 minus 2t. Two, 2 minus 2t. Two, two, so what do we get then? S is 1, so minus 6 is equal to t is not 2. So um, not true, so lines are askew. There we go, so that's that part done. Now the final part then. L1 is changed so that L1 and L2 intersect, what value is A? So instead of the third line, the third line is now modified, isn't it? So it'll be A plus A minus 4S, so it'll be A minus 4S. So here, part 3, a minus 4s is equal to um, here it is here, a minus 4s is the z component, and the z component from before on the other line is 2 minus 2t. So that implies then that a is equal to, move the 4s over, plus 2 to plus 4s, plus the 2 that's already there, minus 2t, which equals 4s is 4, s is 1, so that's 4, plus 2, minus 0, so a is 6.